Have you been struggling to learn your AVGs? Well, this is the fastest and easiest way to interpret AVGs without even having to look at the CO2. All you're gonna look at is your pH and your bicarb. Let's go. The first step in this process is looking straight at your pH. If it is less than 7.35, it is an acidotic problem. If it is higher than 7.45, it is an alkalotic problem. So now we're looking at the bicarb. Remember, bicarb is 22 to 26. The bicarb is low, it's less than 22. Bicarb is high, it's greater than 26. If the bicarb follows the pH, so for instance, if the pH is low and the bicarb is low, then it is a metabolic problem. Or for instance, if the pH is high and the bicarb is high, then it is still a metabolic problem. If the bicarb doesn't follow the pH, so for instance, pH is low and the bicarb is high, then it is a respiratory problem. Or if the pH is high and the, and the bicarb is normal, then it is a respiratory problem. So to recap, all you need to look at is the pH and the bicarb. pH is low, it's an acidotic problem. pH is high, it's respiratory. Look at the bicarb. Does the bicarb follow the pH? If it does, then it's a metabolic problem. If the bicarb is either normal or doesn't follow the pH, then it is a respiratory problem. Remember to like and follow. I really appreciate uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Y'all have a good day.